Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm sorry I'm going to have to keep it down just a little bit for this video because it is 1.31 in the morning. Um, uh, I just got home from well, this crazy long day. Uh, all my days for the next like few weeks are going to be like this. I work from 6 in the morning until uh, after midnight, 12.30 or 12.40. I just got home maybe 25 minutes ago. I'm trying to wrap up a few things out here and I decided I should show you some stuff that I'm going to to be on for the next few weeks. Um, I am trying to catch up with the Death Star Droid build because uh, it's like way behind schedule. So I'm freaking hurrying my ass off to get it done. Uh, now one of the things I've done to speed up the process is I've switched from using the uh, XTC 3D um, coating that I was using before, which works awesome by the way. I'm not skipping it because it doesn't work well. It works great, but it's uh, slower to work with. It takes longer uh, to mix takes longer to set uh, so I switched over to using just straight polyester resin to coat everything it's not quite as good but it still works better than I expected so if, if you need to smooth some 3d parts polyester resin seems to work fine for me so far I've also uh, joined the two halves front and back together which I might have had in the previous video but I don't remember um, and on the inside I have put uh, fiberglass mat around some of the joint lines especially the top here here um, and on the sides uh, a little bit for strength but mainly to help keep it hold it uh, keep its shape because the um, 3d filament is I printed it very thin so it has some flex to it and I want to make sure that it doesn't get deformed while I work on it so having that little extra buffer of fiberglass should help uh, retain its shape a little better um, another thing are the arms they are coated with the polyester resin also. Really, really strong. There's no extra glass on here. It's just resin, and you can feel a huge difference. I wish you guys could feel this right now so you could tell, but it uh, feels way stronger, which is good. Um, the shorts back here, I'm about to do the same thing to the shorts, uh, and tomorrow I will be printing the rest of the back of the shorts. So I started to print it, and I ran out of filament. So I finally got new filament, uh, which I showed in my last video. We're gonna try it out tomorrow and I'll get this started. Um, then I have this insane project that I'm on right now, which basically I work my normal job from like uh, six in the morning till 2.30 and then I drive over and uh, help um, this guy, Eric Beck, who you may know from Indie Mogul and uh, Backyard Effects. I've been watching his YouTube channel for years. Really, really cool guy, super fun to work with and really smart and uh, just a, a great, good guy. You should check out his videos if you haven't seen him before. I'll put some links below um if you haven't seen indie mogul it's it shocked me because he's got a, a lot of followers on there but uh yeah so i've been working with him super fun but it's also sucking up all the time that i've been using for this so i'm kind of like any moment i have trying to get this thing caught back up because um december is my deadline for this it needs to be finished wearable and chromed by december so it's gonna be tricky but i'm gonna try to get it done i'm gonna try my best so uh, anyway i gotta get back to doing this so i can go to sleep so I can get back up at six, which is in four and a half hours. Have fun guys.